Community College will reopen for the first time since the shooting tomorrow. Classes won't resume, though, for another week. But the school's president says they are opening so students can retrieve the things they left behind and get access to counseling. This is not a club we wanted to join. Uh, we did not want to be part of the Sandy Hook Club, but we're now members, we're the newest members, and the senior members are all taking care of us. A pastor whose daughter was killed in the rampage spoke to his congregation saying the nine students were willing to stand and take a bullet for their faith. He vowed to not let the violence have the last word. New developments tonight on what the Pentagon is calling a confused and complicated situation in Afghanistan. Defense officials are trying to figure out whether a U.S. warplane directly fired on a hospital in the city of Kunduz. 22 people died, and that includes patients and staff. As NBC's John Yang reports, the doctors are calling the airstrikes criminal. Doctors Without Borders is labeling the airstrike on its hospital a presumed war crime. They're demanding an independent investigation. They say an internal Pentagon investigation won't be enough. Condolences and apologies aren't enough. We need to understand why this happened. And we need that to be understood through an independent investigation. Survivors describe the horror of seeing intensive care unit patients burned to death in their beds, unable to escape. An operating room with the patient dead on the operating table. There is a lot of blood, and this is one of the darkest days in the history of our 44-year organization. U.S. forces insist they were targeting Taliban fighters shooting at U.S. forces. But Doctors Without Borders says that no one saw any fighting inside the hospital compound before the airstrike. They said that the hour-long aerial assault precisely targeted the hospital building, leaving other parts of the compound largely untouched. President Obama has offered his condolences, but has stopped short of an apology. John Yang, NBC News, London. High tide rolling in again right now, but Amelia says just one more night before most of our area gets to enjoy some dry, sunny days. Her seven-day forecast is next. Plus, don't look now, but the Redskins are tied for the division lead. Carol's coming back to tell us how Captain Kirk led the charge. Monday on News 4 at 11. Good, clean fun or an online intro to addiction. Weekly fantasy football sites. Why some addiction experts are concerned about their growing popularity. Monday on News 4 at 11. Now through Sunday, don't miss Mattress Discounter's huge buy one, get one free overstock sale. Buy one mattress set and get the other mattress set free. Choose from Spring Air, Sealy, Beautyrest, Posturepedic, and even Memory Foam. Two for the price of one, starting at just $359. And rest assured, with Mattress Discounter's exclusive, no-fee, worry-free comfort guarantee. If you buy your mattress anywhere else, you will pay too much. Double it up this summer with a hot deal from McDonald's. The 250 Double Combo. A mouth-watering double cheeseburger and small fries for just 250. Delicious just got double this summer at McDonald's. There are certain kinds of roads built for certain kinds of cars. Sweeping you up in a moment of pure driving enjoyment. Just don't get too carried away. Together. Oh, no! Hey, why don't you turn off your phone and all your stuff? Good idea. It's off. <laughs> Mom? 
Oh, my internet is so slow when anyone else is using it. Did you, like, want to do something? I am doing something. Leave slow internet behind. It's good to be back. The 100% fiber optics network gives you the fastest internet available for all your devices. Get out of the past. Get Fios. At Anova, we go straight to the source to treat disease. I hold the key to the right treatment for my heart disease. I can't spell pharmacogenomics, but my liver can. I prescribed the medicine that treated my breast cancer. Through genomic medicine, we use your DNA and that of your disease to map out the right care. There are no standard treatments. There's only the treatment that works for you. Innova, join the future of health. Musicians, politicians, actors, and top policy makers all gathering on the National Mall tonight for a concert and rally is turning the spotlight on addiction. A nonprofit organized the free Unite to Face Addiction Rally. Their message, addiction is preventable and treatable. Many people in the crowd were in recovery. We caught up with one woman who came to D.C. from North Carolina, and she spoke about her very personal reason for being here. I'm a person in long-term recovery from alcohol and other drugs. And what has happened since I've entered recovery is I'm now a daughter to my mother. I'm a mother to my daughter. I'm employable, and I get the opportunity to help others. The Surgeon General announced today that for the first time, he'll release a report on substance use, addiction, and health. That'll be out next year. While the Redskins were getting ready for the game today at FedEx Field, hundreds of others were handing out pink ribbons to fans to kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The NFL started the initiative almost two decades ago to remind women to get regular breast cancer screenings. Dan Snyder's wife, Tanya, took part in today's event. And today, another chilly day outside, but incredible to believe that in your forecast, we see just a huge jump in temperatures. Yeah, so on Wednesday, we're gonna actually be near 80 degrees. Wow. Tomorrow's Unbelievable. gonna- I know, I know. Today, our high was 59. We've been socked in with clouds, mostly cloudy to overcast skies, including today, which I'm considering still Sunday, uh, for the last 10 days in a row. So tomorrow, we start to notice the sunshine by Tuesday, talking full sun and warmer temperatures. So tomorrow will be that transition transition day to better weather. All in all, this work week, we're going to have terrific weather as high pressure settles on into the area. Next chance of rain arrives Friday night, and that will stick around through Saturday morning. The weather having a low impact on your Monday. The sun returns a bit breezy during the morning hours, but by far not as windy as it was this weekend and warmer temperatures, about 10 degrees warmer than it was today. Currently, we're for the most part in the low to mid 50s, 55 in Washington, but notice Frederick already down to 48. So chilly stepping out the door at 7 a.m. with a temperature around 53 upper 40s in the suburbs, still plenty of clouds. But as we work our way toward the late morning and midday hours, clouds already start to break up as we get into the afternoon hours, partly to mostly sunny skies. Uh, lunchtime temperature around 60. 68 will be our high tomorrow. We'll hit that at about 3 o'clock. Tomorrow night, not bad. 7 o'clock, a temperature of about 62. But with clear skies in the forecast, it will be a chilly start on Tuesday morning. Definitely will need the jacket, especially if you're in the suburbs, starting off in the district a temperature of 52 on Tuesday. But look at temperatures in the suburbs. Leesburg at 46, Manassas, Gaithersburg also at 46, Frederick at 45. But with plenty of sun, we'll warm up nicely. A high on Tuesday of 74. Wednesday, here it is, the warmest day out of the next seven. A high of 78 degrees on Thursday, mostly sunny. A high of 74. Friday, we'll notice clouds increasing throughout the day. Temperatures warm into the mid-70s across the area. By Friday night, there's the chance for showers as a weak cold front moves through the area. Chance of some showers mainly earlier in the day on Saturday. It looks like by Saturday afternoon, it will be a bit breezy, dry, and cooler. A high temperature on Saturday of 70 degrees. Next Sunday, a high of 72, mostly sunny skies. I want to point out our average high temperature is 71. Uh, five out of the seven days here on the seven day, we're going to be running above average. Since October 1st, Erica, we've had about two inches of rain. For the most part, we're right on track where we should be for the year as far as rainfall is concerned. So it'll be okay that our next chance of rain isn't until later Friday on into Saturday. All right, thanks, Amelia. Late night for a lot of football fans. This is the Xfinity Sports Desk. 
Brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. Victory.